Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. I'm going to be doing a video today on my Clan Wars dog build. So I will show two builds in particular. One is the Griffin Bug that you see in front of me by right here. And the other will be my Whaler Masto thingy about Bob. Um, apologies, I was going to do this video yesterday, but I completely forgot. So it wasn't until I saw the comments uh, today, I was like, oh shit, I'm to do them. Anyway, um, this will be a nice and quick video, just be a nice build through and whatnot. I will do a bit of a talk, actually, on the Griffin bug now before I do the build tools, because there's certain, like, build thingies I wanted to talk about. Uh, yes, basically just ramble. A couple of minutes won't take long. Uh, the, the Whaler Master, though, I'm not going to talk about that, because it's just kind of a hodgepodge, hodgepodge, mess around, fun kind of build. It doesn't really matter how you design it to be honest as long as you have the guns in that position and move arm around it doesn't really care anyway i will um talk about the griffin bug first just a few things i wanted to point out so with regards to the frames which is why i kind of like this build all of the wheels except for these four the front because there's nothing to do with this all of the wheels are attached to two pieces of frames so you'll see better when i do the build also this wheel is attached to two here, this wheel is attached to here, this wheel, blah blah blah. Same with these back wheels. All of, every wheel except for the front four. Uh, so that I quite like. Also, I'm pretty fond of the mounting for the roof. So there's basically four four anchor points for the roof, if you will. You've got these two here, which are this and this. And you've also got this piece here. This piece is connected to the helicopter part but it's also connected to the armor as well so the roof doesn't uh, fall off after one or two shots it's pretty nice it's got the ammo packs at the back so the keen and the radar here act as nice armor so for example i've got two armor say if i was getting shot in the back for example i've got two armor packs at the back here which are for dura and resistances so that's 290 each so that's 580 plus i've got a 240 Dura Verifier and I've got a 200 Dura Keen. That's almost about a thousand Dura that isn't attributed to the cab. So this can actually get shot quite a lot and it's got 2000 HP. So this can get shot quite a decent amount in the back before it dies against like other teams and whatnot. So yeah, I kind of like that. Also, if you destroy this ammo pack, it will destroy this bit of frame here, but it won't destroy this. So you still have the wheel. Which is also pretty nice. Um, besides that, the uh, basically the Oma is the Oma Mori is connected to the cabin, it's connected to these two guns here, it's connected to the cloak, it's connected to the Pegasus, and it's connected to the Jenny underneath. So I, I quite like that as well. You don't get engined in this ever, I've never been engined in this, so that's just a bit of Oma. So that's pretty sweet, and uh, yeah, it's nice and reliable. I'm a big fan of it. So that's pretty much that. I'll get on to the, uh, the building now, and I will catch you all for the stream probably Saturday morning. Oh, actually, I wanted to say before I, I go, I, want, I was thinking of doing a video, because I keep seeing videos on Crossout, of people suggesting builds and what builds to use and whatnot. So, to be honest, most of the videos that I see, the people in it either talk for too long or they don't know what they're talking about. So I was planning on doing it, like a Clan Wars version, basically, where I would tell you what, uh, like, paths of weapons and cabins you would need for a certain build archetype and what, basically what to buy and what not to. So if you wanted to spend the bare minimum amount of coins on, like, a progression arc, if you will, to a certain type of build, like a... Like a DPS spider, like a range spider, range hover, etc. Then I would tell you what works in Clan Wars and what doesn't. So I think I'll do now, but just let me know if people are interested. Because uh, if not, I won't bother. Save myself some time. But yeah, I'll tell you what's meta and what's not and all that stuff in Clan Wars. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much it for me. And yeah, catch you weekend, guys.